We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Welcome to the top car. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. Welcome to the top car. Hey, I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to come out right now is called Cafe Society. Ooh. Hey, this is directed and written by my man, Woody Allen. You know, I have not missed a Woody Allen film since his first one, Take the Money and Run. Well, you know, he had some good ones in there and some bad ones in there. So which, what about this one? Well, let me tell you one thing. Sometimes myself as a film critic, and especially an African-American film critic, sometimes uh, it's hard for me to get nostalgic about time periods, okay? Uh, what I mean by that here, this film is uh, in the Depression era in the 30s, and I know that wasn't good for African-Americans back in that time. Really hard for us to get anything. But many times as a observer of films and also being a, a film critic, I still put myself in that time period. I still put myself in the film and, and enjoy the film so I can you know, analyze it and bring it to you. Well, here in Cafe Society, it didn't really do that for me uh, because it seems like Woody Allen really pushed me away from it. Not because I'm African-American, but because of the story that he presented. Here, let me tell you about this. Well, this is about a young kid. His name is uh, Bobby Dorfman, which is played by Jesse Eisenberg. Well, he's a New Yorker, but he has a very famous uncle in L.A. He's a PR person, you know, that uh, he works with all the big stars there in Hollywood. I mean, all of it. You know, he's a talent agent, PR, everything. Uh, and his name is Paul Stern, which is played by Steve Carell. He goes out there, finally, you know, Paul gives him a job, gives Bobby a job. And so Bobby, you know, he's meeting people. So he, he met this young lady named Vonnie, which is played by Kristen Stewart. And they be develop a relationship. Oh, but the problem is, Vonnie has a boyfriend, a mystery boyfriend, that we don't find out until later. Well, Vonnie's boyfriend is actually <laughs> Paul, which is Bobby's uncle. Bobby falls in love with her. She falls in love with Bobby, too, but she chooses, chooses the older man. And by doing that, Bobby goes back to New York. Opens up a nightclub with his uh, uh, brother, which is played by Corey Stahl. And he's a gangster and things like that. And a lot of things happen in this film. Now, again, the problem that I have, for example, like Corey Stahl, he's playing a gangster. Yeah. Well, they didn't really show him doing real gangster stuff, but some things. Because, you know, Willie Allen's on a tight budget. It's really hard for him to get a lot of money for his films because the films really don't make a lot of money. They're more like artsy films these days. And some other things too, but he did pick up the time period with everything else in the film. Now, I will admit some of the acting is very good. For, for example, Kristen Stewart, I've always been a big fan of hers as far as acting. And in this film, she really uh, did a very good job acting. Also, with Eisenberg, they really showed the themselves as uh, a great little couple. They had some chemistry there, working together there on film. But Stahl, again, as a gangster, didn't see tough enough. And also there's other characters too. They, they played their roles very well. For, for example, uh, Blake Lively, she became the wife of Paul. You know, her character did. And, you know, that seemed real to me. But I wanted to enjoy many of the characters, but I couldn't because it seems like uh, he, I mean, the director, Woody Allen, was pushing me back from really enjoying these characters. You know, uh, Carell, he really wasn't a comic in this. He was a straight man. You know, he was a straight talent agent PR person. And, you know, that's another reason. You know, I was looking for a little bit more from Steve Carell in this film, but remember, this is Woody Allen. And also, 
the time periods too, I wanted to enjoy more of that too, but because of his budget and things like that and his camera work, I really couldn't believe a lot of the scenes that they were there in that time period or put me there in that time period. A lot of interior scenes though were very good in this film. So Cafe Society, well, you know, you gotta see it for yourself, but I'm, but I'm only giving this two palm trees. It's really an average film. It's not great. It's not, you know, it's not bad, but it's not great. It's in between. It's just average, especially for a Woody Allen film. So if you're a big Woody Allen fan, go see it for yourself and see what you think about it. But I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Hey, thanks for watching my review of Cafe Society. This is your answer. They used to great